right, let's get going. You guys read in the headlines, it says, it asks you a few questions of this. Steve says, episode number 39, says, have you lost your motivation? Or basically, or have you, are you having a time getting your motivation back? Or are you get, having a hard time accomplishing, getting it in the first place? Or did you use, you, maybe you had some motivation and now you're starting to feel like it's slipping away from your grasp and you're losing the motivation that you once had. So if any of these are a scenario you see yourself in, or you just need to learn how to motivate yourself when no one's watching. Maybe you have motivation when people are, there's other people around, but then when no one's watching, when your trainers aren't there, you lose all, you lose your shit. You lose all your motivation. So we're, I'm going to give you the secrets. And today is going to be a little bit of a mind fuck. It's going to be a little bit of a different way, a little bit of a different answer that you're going to be thinking of. We're going to go into the typical answers real quick, kind of stuff we've talked about in the past. And then we're going to get to the real reason and the real secrets to how you're going to overcome this problem with your motivation. So you know what? Each week we come here. Steve says it's all about becoming the best version of yourself. Adapting and overcoming, getting your shit together, stop being a little bitch, trusting the process, and making no excuses. You have questions, you can put them here in the comments. I'm looking at your guys' questions in the comments right here. You can interact if it has something to do with what we're talking about or anything, health, fitness, or any other any other thing you want. My great words of wisdom and advice on, put them down here in the comments, and we'll talk about it. So we're talking about motivation, how to get it, how to find it, how to get it back, how to have when no one's looking around. Steve says, episode number 39, some people will hate, but most can, be, can relate. We are bringing the fire every second of every fucking second, every week, Tuesdays, 2.15. Let's do this. See who's in here. We got a few of you watching. Give you guys a couple seconds to get in here. I see a good amount of you in here already because you, you probably are experiencing this. This is a common thing. Problems with motivation. Finding that motivation in the first place, creating that motivation continuing motivation ongoing for the rest of your life, not just going through ups and downs of motivation or having it only certain times or in certain scenarios or certain situations, not having it all the time when no one else is watching and you just lose your shit like we were saying. So so, someone told me last week that I cursed too much. So if anyone thinks I curse too fucking much, let me know in the comments. Someone told me I curse too much. And I don't think that that's like an oxymoron, cursing too much. You can't, there's no such thing as cursing too much or saying the word fuck too much. So I want to have a contest. Someone who could tell me how many fucks we used last week. I would like to know the number since I was told I say I curse too much. I don't really give a shit, but I'm just curious how many fucks did I have last week? If anyone happens to know, we should do a weekly fuck counting contest. Who can count how many fucks do I say in each episode of Steve Says and have whoever can get the, the first accurate answer gets a t-shirt or some shit. We should do that. I would like to know how many it was last week. But anyway, I'm just speaking from my, basically I just speak from my mind and I'm not people pleasing and just going to say what people want to hear or try to make people happy or whatever. I'm going to speak what's on my freaking mind. And I did it for a long time trying to people please and all this other bullshit. And it's just time to be real, be your true self, be who you're always meant to be, not who someone else wants you to be or who society or your friends or even your freaking family wants you to be. You shouldn't even... Be who you think you're supposed to be because your thinking is probably fucked up and influenced already by all the fuckers in your environment surrounding you with negativity and bullshit that doesn't matter. That's not even what the point... This is, this is not even today's topic or whatever you want to call it. Just give me one second. Just got to check something out here. Exactly. I don't curse too much. No such fucking thing. So, one second. I just want to check something out here. It's breaking out for a second. All right, there, good. So that's not what the purpose was about being yourself and all this stuff. Although it actually, now that I'm saying it, it it actually ties in directly to what we're about to talk about. And Bruce Lee has a saying. He said, since we're on talking about being yourself, he said, always be yourself, express yourself, have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a, a successful personality and duplicate it. Just be your fucking self. And that's why I'm up here and I say fuck a lot and I say what I want. It's fucking Facebook and If someone didn't like it, they could just turn that shit off and fuck off. Get to the back of the line with all the other fuckers. You know how it goes. So that's not what this topic is about. But it does tie tie into it. It really does tie into it. How to get the real motivation. How to find it and how to keep it. Obviously, you do need to be yourself. Because I could sit up here. I could yell. I could be in your face in the gym. 
And I can motivate, I'll motivate the fuck out of you. And I could, I could help you out. I could lead you. I could guide you. I could teach you. I could even hold your fucking hand every step of the way through the process. But you'll never be truly motivated until you can manufacture it within your fucking self first. That's when you're going to get real, true, lasting, like lifelong motivation. It's in there, inside of you somewhere, begging to come out and to fucking dominate and to control your, your, your destiny. You just need to know how to find it how to channel the energy of it, and, and how to use it to put you in the direction of your goals. And that's exactly what we're going to go over today. I'm going to give you like seven steps. I don't even know how many steps it is. Seven, eight, seven steps, eight steps, nine steps. I don't even know how many fucking steps it is. It doesn't matter how many steps it is. I'm going to give you steps to make this shit happen. Because I see it all the time. People come, come in to meet me, and they're fucking zombies. They're, they're created from you know society or social media or just life in general. They have zero fucking motivation, zero inspiration, zero fucking passion, or just lifeless. And basically, you all, we all, you all, we all just need to wake the fuck up. I don't want to hold it. I'm going to get a little worked up today. So I'm going to put this tablet down. I can still see your guys' questions and comments down here. So if you have any questions, comments, want me to shut the fuck up, want me to stop saying fuck. Put it down there in the comments. So we, I see it all the time. People come in, right? Then I see people every day who are at one time, they were fucking locked in. They were motivated. They were on top of the fucking world. And then they start slipping up a little bit. Then they slip a little more. And then a few months later, you look at them and you're like, what the fuck happened to them? What happened to them? They were here. Now they're there. And it's all because of motivation. It's all because of what we're going to go over today. It's the, the, the fucking secret to your success of finding, maintaining, and keeping, and having at all times that motivation. I'm talking about 24 hours a day. Like, no matter who's there, no matter who's watching, no matter what's going on, this is what we're going to go. This is going to be some deep, fucking, mind-bending, fucked-up shit today. I need a sip of my freaking Herbalife while you guys keep coming in there and keep counting the fucks. And I'm not even just talking about motivation for fitness. Obviously, we're gym freaks, we're peak freaks, but I've come to realize that to succeed in the gym, to get lifelong guaranteed results like we promised to all our Peak Freak members, there's so much more to the fucking game than push-ups and freaking jumping jacks. That's, that's the easy stuff. There's the stuff up here, all kinds of crazy shit going on up here that we need to conquer first and we need to dominate first and we need to train that shit first in order to train the rest of it. It's a complete freaking package. Your mindset needs to be right and, and not just what you think is right, but fucking like right, right. The like real world, rational thinking freaking right. That's what we're talking about. Not just what you think is right. You need to have your mind right. So what, what caused this person that we're talking about to, to have motivation to begin with and then lose it or another person to never have it or another person to have it only when certain scenarios, what causes that? What, what made, makes all these situations happen? How do they lose it? How do they get it? How do they keep it? So we already know the first levels of motivation. We talk about it all the time. I've covered it many times. Is about having your reason why. And this is not what we're talking about today. We're not even into what our real secret solutions are. But I'm just going to talk about what your why is real quick. Just to recap it from the past that we've talked about. You need to basically peel back the onion. Until you get to the real reason why you want or need or fucking deserve this change in your life. In, in whatever area you're talking about. Whether it's health and fitness or your family or your career or whatever you're talking about. You need to figure out what the reason why is. The real reason why it needs to be uncovered. And, and that's going to be the guiding freaking light for your journey to results and success and achieving your fucking goals. My reasons why. Why do we, why do, why do we create peak physique culture the way we did? Because I never fit in anywhere when I was a kid. Had no friends. Nowhere to turn. Never felt like I could be myself. So I wanted to create a place for p- fucked up people just like me. A place where you can just be yourself. You can fit in. And you can just be a fucking freak. And... You're just going to feel normal there. It's going to be like a weight lifted off your shoulders of that pressure from the, from the real world out there. You're going to come into here and it's going to be your escape, your escape zone. Then I also wanted to be a role model to my kids so they don't have to look at me the same way I looked at my freaking father when I was a kid when I wanted to be nothing like him. And I learned to do everything in life the exact opposite of the way that I saw him do it. I want my kids to, be, I want, my kids to want to be exactly like me. So this is my why. Now this is still not even how to get your motivation back. Or how to get it in the first place. I'm just telling you what, what some of the basics that you're going to need. But you won't even be able to figure out your real why or your real reason or your, your true motivation. You won't even be able to figure it out. And if, if you finally do discover your why, you will fail at it. You will fail miserably at it and become a fucking disgrace if you don't first follow these steps we're going to go over that we're going to cover today. 
these seven steps, eight steps, 10 step, I don't know, whatever, 10 step fucking program, whatever it is. So no matter what your why is, you, of course your why, it's going to fuel you, that's going to be your passion, the reason why you do it, but guess what? Even if your why, I could say my why is my kids, but if I don't first have this other shit in order that I'm about to go over these like step by step fucking blueprint to getting your shit together, getting your fucking mind right, then that would be a disgrace and I would, my kids would look at me the same fucking way I looked at my father if I don't first get these other things in order and get my shit together first. So the first step, step number one, pay attention, take fucking notes, write this shit down. It's going to fucking spin your mind. It's spinning my fucking mind. And I'm going to sip some more Herbalife. I'm going to peek down here, keep checking your guys' comments or questions or whatever you have to say down here. The first step, this is like, it's going to start off each step. The, the basics of each step is so fucking simple, but we're, the way that we're going to explain it, where it's just going to make fucking sense, or at least it makes sense in my head. I don't know if it's going to make sense to you. I don't really care. Whatever. You'll get it. Those of you who can relate will get it. And those who can't can just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, number one, the number one step to getting your motivation, finding your real motivation, and to get on your path to the success is number one, to let shit go. You need to get that fucking chip off your shoulder. You need to stop sweating the small stuff. You need to stop focusing on the 95% of the bullshit that doesn't even matter that will give you zero, zero freaking percent of the results. Follow that 5% that actually fucking matters in life and will probably give you 100% of the results and the happiness that you want. Disregard all the other bullshit. It needs to fucking bounce off your skin like you're made of, you're wearing like a bullshit bulletproof vest and all the bullshit is just going to bounce off you. So the first step is simple. Let shit go. Let it go. It's so easy. We're going to break this down and get deeper into this. The next one is regrets. You need to regret nothing. The failures and mistakes and what we learn from will not only, we don't only let, you'll let that control your lives if you don't let that shit go. So each of these blends into the next one. So letting it go goes right to the regrets. Regret, we regret nothing. The failures and mistakes, we learn from it and we will not let them control our fucking lives. I don't regret all the stupid shit I did in my life. It's made me who I am standing in front of you today. As fucked up as I might, I might seem, I'm pretty fucking happy with myself. And I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty fucking happy with the new person that I've become. Living with regret is only going to hinder the process and make you go over all the dumb shit over and over, stirring up, driving you fucking crazy in your mind for the rest of your freaking life. If you regret the past 10 years, if you sit here today in the present, start regretting the past 10 years and going over in your fucking head, guess what? Guess what? You're going to create 10 years in the future that you're going to fucking regret too. So if you regret the past 10 years, then your next 10 become a fucking regret also. I love every fuck up I ever had in my life. It was all the pieces of the puzzle that define who the fuck I am and get rid of who I was and create this fucking, the beast that I still have yet to become in the future. That's what re, what regret is all about. So that was, what was that, number two? I don't even know. You guys can fucking count for me. Who's in here? Yes, let it go. What do we got going on here? Margo doesn't give a fuck what anyone says. I like it. Rachel says, yes, let it go. Easier said than done. Yes, it's easier said than done, but we're going to help you even follow these next steps. This is only, that's only step number two. So, so far we let it go. We have zero regrets. Third step is to forgive. So don't, uh, we don't talk about hypocrites a couple of weeks ago. Usually people get all fucking pissed off at someone when they have, when they've done the same exact fucking thing at some point or something very similar in the past or probably at the same fucking time. So forgive someone for doing something fucked up to you. Even if the fucking scumbag isn't even sorry about it, you're still going to forgive them because you don't need to be carrying that negativity on your shoulders and carrying that bullshit around with you. What's the point? All it's going to do is drag you down. Forgive them. Get rid of that shit. B brush it off like that bullshit bull bulletproof vest we're talking about. Besides, just because you forgive someone doesn't mean you still can't smash their fucking skull in and splatter their brains all over the ground. Just kidding. Again, just kidding. Don't blame me for that one. I'm not kidding. Do it. Do it. Splash your head open. I'm not kidding. I'm just kidding. Do it. All right, next step. I don't even know what number set was somewhere around. I don't even know. I think number four, right? Number four. Yes, forgive. Margo says she's learning to forgive and move on. Let it go. I don't know if that was number two, number three. I don't even fucking know. The next number, whatever it is, someone tell me what it is, is to forget. Now we're going to start getting to some mind fucking. Forget everything. Forget the bullshit. Forget the drama. 
Forget all your failures. Forget all the fucked up people that are, that are out there plotting and scheming against you. Fuck them. Forget them. Forget what someone did wrong to you. Forget the wrong and fucked up shit that... Oh, shit. I have a visitor. I'm getting the hell out of here. No! Freak. What a freak. Don't listen to all them F words I say. I'm sure you never heard them before, right? Anyway, what was I saying? Forget what someone did wrong to you. And also, forget all the wrong and fucked up shit you did to other people. Forget it. Forget about it. I'm not even talking about letting you go. I'm talking about literally fucking pulling it out of your memory and, and, and forgetting about it. Forget how fucked up your childhood was. Stop using that shit as an excuse. Forget the stupid habits that your parents taught you that dumb shit that some people are taught by their, their parents in the, in the old days or whatever. Some of the stupid ha- bad habits you picked up from your parents or even from school teachers years ago. Forget it. Forget it all. Fucking drop it. Forget all the habits that you know you have that are bad. Forget the stupid shit that you know is not right, that's not helping you succeed, and you're just wasting your freaking time. Forget what your enemy is doing. Forget what your competition is doing. Forget it. Forget it all. Fucking forget everything. Focusing on them is just helping them get ahead and helping them win as you're distracted and worrying about and and thinking about and focusing on what they're doing. When Michael Jordan was practicing his thousands of fucking free throws per day, do you think he was worried about how many free throws or or, uh, Patrick Ewing was throwing? Or you think he was worried about Larry Bird's technique on free throws? Fuck no. All he, all Michael Jordan had to do was worry about what he needed to do and sit there and get his free throw shot down. And guess what? Then whatever everyone else in the fucking league was doing, it was irrelevant. It didn't matter because he had his own shit. He focused on his own shit. And that's how you fucking dominate. And that's how you have motiva- motivation. He was fucking motivated. Forget every fucking thing in the world that is irrational and not in line with your dreams, your goals, your fucking destiny, and your happiness. Fuck them all and forget them all. If your mind is focused on your competition, focused on your horrible childhood, if you're constantly thinking about all the ways you fucked up or you made a mistake or you cheated on your diet and you ate the shit you weren't supposed to eat, if you're constantly thinking about this stuff, all the ways that you fucked up and trying to reach your goals, you will never, never remember how to remember. I know, that's fucking twisted. That doesn't make sense, right? You'll always remember how to remember. I don't even know if that makes sense, but in my fucking head it makes sense, so try to make sense out of that shit. While you're trying to make sense of that shit, and I try to make sense of that shit, I'm just going to see what you guys have to say. Yes, with those basketball names, because basketball nowadays is a fucking joke, of course. Those kids are probably like, Patrick Ewing, who is that? Nowadays, they they think Michael Jordan, those kids nowadays, those kids out there nowadays think Michael Jordan is a fucking shoe designer. They didn't know he played basketball, those fucking numbskulls. Anyway... Rosa says, it's not about that. For me, it's the food that I get bored with. I've learned to forgive and move on. You got to stop getting bored with the food. It's not about bored. It's not about food. When it comes to food, it's not about being fun. It's about just the results and the outcome that you're looking for and the goals. And we're going to continue. Forget about it. Forget that. It's, but forget it. Forget it. Forget it. But after you forget it, how we just said was, if you are constantly thinking about all this stuff, and how you fucked up in the past, and you're trying to reach your goals, you will never, never, I said you will never remember how to fucking remember. Deep shit right there, deep shit right there, because the next step after forgetting, guess what the next step is? It's fucking remembering. You need to remember. You need to now program shit into your brain. So after you force yourself to consciously forget, now you need to learn to consciously fucking remember. And what are we remembering? I know what you're all thinking. As usual, Steve doesn't make any fucking sense. He's just babbling. He's just saying the fuck word a lot. He just convinced me and sold me on the idea of all the shit I need to let go of and, and, and forget. And now the fucking dumbass is telling me now I need to learn how to remember. Well, I might be a dumbass, but not in this case, I'm not. No, I didn't lose my shit. Well, besides, I never had my shit in order in the first place to lose it. But yes, the next stage is to remember after I just told you to forget. You need to remember the good. You need to remember the victories. You need to remember the success in life. Rosa, you need to remember the results you got when you were eating the good food, Rosa. And forget about the times that you cheated on your diet. You need to remember how you feel when you eat the good food. That's what you need to remember. You need to remember your success. Drill that fucking shit into your brain. Program it into your brain. You need to, you need to remember the good, the victories, the successes you had in life. 
I don't give a fuck how minor you think it is. You need to celebrate and remember every little fucking victory. Remember what you did right. Remember the mindset you had when you didn't fail. Remember the mindset you had when you were eating the food that you thought was boring. But the mindset was saying, you know what? I'm better than this. I'm stronger than this. I could do this shit. I feel good. I'm looking good. My clothes are fitting better. That's what you need to fucking remember and forget the other bullshit. Remember what it took to achieve those victories. Remember the details, the strategies, and all the little things that that went into it. Remember every little tiny detail of it. Put it in your brain. Most of all, remember how it fucking felt to you. Now use those memories with the sole purpose to lead you and motivate you towards your goals. We, you know, we're, we're forgetting, we are, we are forgetting all this stupid, useless shit and we're, we're remembering the shit that worked and helped us to succeed and to victory. Another Bruce Lee, because we like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was more than a martial artist. He was a thinker. Bruce Lee said, adapt what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is specifically your own. So that's what we're talking about. Forget the bullshit, forget the failures, forget the scumbags, forget the losers, forget the negative people in your life. Remember the successes, remember the victories, remember everything you did right, remember everything that you succeeded at, and most of all, remember how it felt. And we're not just talking about remember, we're talking about live on it, live on it and breathe it. That's what we're talking about. And when we're saying forget, we're not saying all that all forgive and forget and all that other bullshit, all these other fucking cheesy ass fucking sayings. We're talking about forgetting it. I'm talking about it. gone. It's gone. It's dumped out of my brain, never to be thought about again because that's just going to drag me down and bring me back into that. And that's going to create my future with that bullshit. I'm forgetting it. It's fucking gone. It's dumped. And now I'm remembering what it's taking and what I need to do to, ha- to succeed. After we're going to do that, we're going to forget. Then we're going to remember, yeah, we're fucked up like that. It's just a big mind fuck. What are we going to do next? We're going to relax. Yes, I'm a relaxed fucking person. Isn't it obvious? Can't you tell? Just because I'm a passionate motherfucker when I'm speaking to you guys doesn't mean I'm not relaxed. You need to stay calm, focused, and relaxed and fucking smooth no matter what the situation. When you see me, you won't know it if I just finished working out or if I won the lottery or if I have a broken arm or if I just got into a car accident or if my dog died. You won't know any of that shit. This will be my face. You won't know it. I've come into the gym minutes after I had a dog die, minutes after I just got in a car accident, minutes after I just got an injury. You won't know it. You'll see this face. You need to be calm, smooth, in control of your shit and relaxed. You need to stay calm. And when it comes to getting motivated, you need to stay calm so you can focus and forget all the bullshit, remember all the victories, and staying calm and relaxed is what's going to help you do that. Focus on what worked for you in the past and forget what caused you to fail. Relax and let victory and success be all you know. Let it become automatic. You're just calm and smooth and relaxed. You're drilled in your fucking mind about the successes and the victories you had and that's all there is it's just automatic it's all you know it's all you're destined for you can even relax and envision your dream goal or what or or what your dream goal or success is even if you never achieved it you think you're you never did enough you never achieved enough you never accomplished enough it doesn't even matter you can just basically dream it up even if you never achieved it you can relax and imagine it imagine it in all the deep fucking details picture it Live it every day in your mind and it will become real because before, it'll become real before it's even real, really. I know. First I tell you to remember, remember and all this other stuff, forget. Now I'm saying, picture it, live it every day in your fucking mind. Live it like it's real and it will become real before it's even fucking real. That's some weird shit right there because we know how powerful the mind is, right? If you believe it, if you think it, then it's true Then and then you can... Create the future version of your successful self in your head. It's so fucking crazy that it becomes reality before it even happens. It becomes almost fucking time travel. You're creating your future self in detail. In detail, your future self, that's, it's already a fucking done deal. It's, a, it's already done. It's a foregone conclusion. And nothing can stop from happening because it's reality. Now you just need to move. The next step is to move. Let's see what we got going on here. Yes, yes, yes. Like in the comments. Quick sip here, because I'm going to spaz out. So we forgot. Then we remembered. Then we relaxed. Now we need to move. Take action. 
We need to move or even I want to say move on is what I want to say. Move on, which is also move. It's a couple of different ways. You will never leave where you are in life. You'll never leave that spot and get to where you are destined to freaking be until you decide that the, the, the deep fucking stinking ass fucking dog shit that you're standing in or the shit that you were standing in in the past and living in in the past is not for you. Until you decide where you would rather be, you're going to be stuck in that fucking pile of shit from the past or the present. Move on in more ways than one. Move on from the bullshit around you, the annoying fuckwads that are around you, the negativity that's around you. Move on from your family, your freaking family if you have to. Move on from your past self that is holding you back. All that shit is only holding you back if you don't move on from it. You need to move on from your mistakes that killed your dreams in the past. Move on from your failures. If you don't move on, you will live in a past fucking hellhole and, and, and the present pile of bullshit. It will be all you know and it will become your freaking future. You need to move the fuck on. You need to move on from sitting on your fucking ass, feeling sorry for yourself. Move on and take massive fucking action. You have to put all the pieces into place that you that you just that, that we together have just carved out your path to success. Now you need to act on it. You need to move on it. Put in the time, the work, and the fucking effort. Your goal and desired outcome is all you can see. It's fucking laser beam focus, tunnel vision like a horse with the blinders on. Move on into the direction of your freaking destiny. Nothing can stop you because it's already there. It's already in you. It's already a done deal. You've already made it happen. You just need to move and then make it actually physically freaking happen. After we move on, what do we need to do? We need to repeat. Repeat. Simple. Freaking simple. Just repeat the process over and over and over again. Non-stop. It's going to keep propelling you forward and forward and momentum and momentum and positivity until you get to your goal and you get to that goal. You're going to have new victories. You're going to take that victory in your brain. You're going to repeat and repeat and repeat until you get to the next fucking goal. And it's just going to keep being a, a never-ending forward fucking steamrolling momentum to get you to, oh, to never-ending success, lifelong success, lifelong motivation. It's the winning formula. The positive path that you've carved out for your success. Repeat it every second of every fucking day and repeat only what works, only the positive and disregard the bullshit along the way. So as you get a new success, you lose some weight but you realize the mistakes you made all along the way. You're going to adjust those mistakes. You're going to see them, acknowledge them, learn from them and guess what? You're going to fucking forget them. You're going to remember the successes and you're going to move on and get to your next milestone. And you get there, it's the same repeating, repeating over and over of freaking positivity and fucking domination. After you are non-stop repeating, you need to see, go, go, seize every opportunity that comes your way. You need to seize the opportunity, every one that comes your way, which is, you know, each one is going to put you an inch closer to your goal. Don't hesitate. Don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be fucking stubborn or a hard-headed motherfucker. Don't be selfish. Don't be fucking cheap with yourself. Take care of yourself. Get your own shit in order by accepting and following through on opportunities that come, that come to you. Take care of yourself. Get your own shit together. Get your freaking mind right. So a quick recap of this. If you're losing motivation, you need motivation. You're bullshitting with your motivation. You only have motivation when, when you're around certain people. Basically, lying to yourself. First, you need to let shit go. Then you need to regret nothing. Then you need to forgive. Then you need to forget the bullshit. You need to remember the successes and the victories. You need to relax and focus and set goals and a picture of your future self in your freaking mind. Then you need to take action and move on and to going towards those goals and move on from the bullshit you're standing in and the bullshit from your past. Take that relaxed stuff and victories that you remembered and that vision of yourself and move on to your future self of success and victory and fucking domination. Repeat it nonstop over and over so you're going to sit here. It's a circle right here. You get to here. Now, boom, you repel here. Now you have a new circle going to here. Boom, you get to here. Just keep repeating that process till you get to where you fucking need to be. And then when you get there, guess what? You're going to have new, bigger, and even more further out of reach, crazy, ridiculous dreams and goals that you fucking put in your head in that relaxed stage that you thought of in your head that now already happens. So now you're going to go make that shit happen. And you just need to seize every opportunity along the way to make this shit happen. Simple shit right there, but deep shit. How to get the motivation, let shit go, regret nothing, 
forgive, forget, remember, relax, move on, repeat, and opportunity. Simple shit. If you have any questions, want to talk about this anything further, put it down here. See if you guys have to say. Yes, you need to forgive yourself. Forgive other people. Yes, Rosso, I am talking to you. Talking to you. Follow these steps. I'm telling you. I am as crazy, as fucked up in the head that I might be, and I might seem to be, and I might really be. I am the most calm, smooth, relaxed, happy, and motivated fucking person you will ever meet. And it's all day, 24 hours a fucking day. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can slow me down because I follow these simple fucking steps and I make them happen every single freaking day. I follow them every single day. I live by this code. It's like a code. It's built. It's like a fucking built into your brain, into your mind. And then it just happens automatically. It's crazy. Anyway, if you guys have anything. Yes, forgiveness is a simple thing to do. But most difficult. Yes, I said forgive, but that doesn't mean you can't smash in their fucking head. It has nothing to do with physical violence. So, yes, Maureen, forgiveness does... And, and, and smashing someone's head in does help, help it make it a lot easier to forgive them. Once you smash the head in, you're like, you know what? I forgive you. Whatever. Pick up your fucking brains off my sidewalk. Anyway, everything's easier said than done, but you just need to make it happen. That's what that relax, that relax stage is for. You need to learn... All these are learned, acquired, and have to become habits, of course, and they take practice like anything else. But you can master this shit. You can fucking master anything. I, I'm, I'm so believe this shit is so fucking strong. I, I'm gonna test. I think I can make myself fucking fly. I don't know if I'm gonna try it, but I think I can make myself fly. Because that's how powerful your fucking mind is. You can see it and you can envision it. But that's why I said it has to be rational thoughts. Because irrational thoughts like flying, you'll be fucking splattered on the ground next to that same person that you forgave. Now there's two fucking people's brains splattered on the fucking sidewalk. And then we got to clean that shit up. So that's why it has to be rational thoughts. It can't just be something ridiculous like, oh, I can see myself fly. It's not that. It has to be rational thoughts. It could be unrealistic. Things that seem to the, to the naked eye unrealistic. But it could happen as long as it's rational and not some fucking otherworldly shit like you think you're going to fly. But whatever. You never know. Maybe you can't fly. Maybe you'll come up with some device or some shit that you've dreamt up in your, in your relaxed phase. Follow this shit. Follow these steps. Fucking dominate your path. And you will be motivated in every fucking thing you do. And nothing will stop you. Nothing will drag you down. You will not lose motivation no matter who's around. No matter who's not around. You will be focused and you will get to your goals and your dreams. I guarantee fucking tee it. Any questions, any more comments, I'll respond to each one of you personally, one by one. No excuses.